Director, this is Mr. Richard Dalton. How are you, Richard? Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Good. So, oh, you were the hairstylist, confidant, Princess Diana. I was. For how long? Uh, probably just over 10 years. 12. I knew her. Okay. Now, I actually, I did some research and I heard that you actually grew up in a tiny little village. Uh, yes, a tiny little village. I was actually born in the village, 25 people in high season. So, a little different living in Orange County now, right? Yeah, well, I, I actually live in Dana Point, so it's, it's good. She was a friend, right? More than just your, you were just her hairstylist, she was a friend to you, right? Well, I think if you see somebody every day in life, and sometimes two or sometimes three times, and you travel the world with them, she became very close and very, 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 very close to me. She was a wonderful, wonderful person. And her look changed through the years, too, right? You had to try to keep trying to come up with some creative new looks, right? Well, yeah, we hope to change gradually, because the first time we put our hair up, it was worldwide front page, and we both learned our lesson there, that anything we did, we did it gradually, and it was going to be fabulous. It almost, uh, I kind of compare it to like when I see Michelle Obama with her new hairstyle, you know? Yeah, I was just going to say, you know, it's, it's still happening today. You know, the, her husband's second inauguration, and we're all talking about her bangs. So, um, are you still cutting hair still? Oh, yeah, yeah. Are you see my beautiful model, Kimberly. I dress hair. You dressed her too? Yeah, she's looking beautiful. I didn't yeah. know was a date of yours or anything. She's, um, and I do a lot of weddings and special events, and, but ma mainly weddings, and, and uh, now working very close to the Queen Mary. What are some of your fondest memories? Just the being honored to actually do what, do what I did, and do her hair every day for 10, 12 years, and travel with her. Because as a child growing up, I always wanted to travel, and I always wanted to travel on liners, which I did when I was 18. I used to travel to South Africa when I was 18, 19 years old as a hairdresser on Union Castle lines. You used to travel with her, so did you ever have to style her hair while you were in the plane and it's bumpy? You know? Oh yeah, yeah, many times, many times. And I, I used to, in these days, my knees weren't as bad. I used to ski, so I was able to, able to hang on. Yeah, so the collection's one thing, but you did go on, you actually were like creative director or fashion director for uh, some pretty major companies, right? Yeah, um, I was with Paul Mitchell and now I'm with um, Philip Martin's US, which is an organic hair care line, and it's a great, great product. Even the hair color is organic, so um, we're pretty thrilled about that. Oh, that is very good. So now, have you ever thought about writing a book? Um, on several occasions, yes, um, but unfortunately, it always turns to the tabloid nonsense that um, too much has been written, which is ridiculous about the princess. And um, one day, maybe someday, maybe myself will write the true story of how beautiful she really was. So, Princess Diana, we love her. Thank you. We do certainly do that.